Did you hear? Did you hear? Listen. So you made it. Why am I not surprised? Who else would have the stones to turn up for an experimental scal test flight? Stones in your head, I mean. You and Doug are the only ones crazy enough to even try. That's a horrible way to put it, Commander. I mean, sure, previous tests often involved engine explosions and lots of fire. And there was that one that went berserk and crashed itself into the sea. But that's all a perfectly natural part of the R&D process. Right? Oh, she got you wrapped around her itty bitty finger, don't she? Doug, too. For all his grousing, that boy just keeps coming back for more. I don't get it. Must be addicted to the rush, I suppose. Commander, risking life and limb in the name of science is a noble cause and its own reward. Yeah, yeah. 
Anyway, enough chit-chat. Lynn, why don't you walk him through it? Right. I've been mulling over why all my flight pack designs keep... blowing up. I think I've finally found the cause. Conventional scales just don't have the energy to provide enough lift. So I've taken a step back and redesigned a scale from scratch. The result is an integrated flight-capable scale system, or IFCSS for short. Forget the stupid acronym. I financed this, and I say we're calling it a scale flight module. Oh, did I mention I also got the arms manufacturers on board to help out? Really? Oh, you're the best, Commander! Yeah, well, that ain't the hard part. We can't have any more failures, you hear me? This time, it's a sure thing, my friend. The two of us are taking part in development to make certain of that. Isobe! Jajani! Well, if the bigwigs at Sakuraba and CNC aren't worried, I guess I shouldn't be either. Yes, although we do have a slight concern regarding a lack of materials, don't we? How much concern we talking? Well, our final check turned up one significant problem. As it stands now, our chances of success are maybe... 10%, you know. That ain't good. What if we fix this little problem? 99.9999999% success. Right, Johnny? Yes, yes! Near perfect odds, aren't they? Then the answer's clear. Sorry to surprise you, Mavis, but can you go salvage the materials? You'll find them in no time. All right, then. Bring the materials back here once you round them all up. Lynn, you use this time for another final system to check. This is our last shot. Understood, sir. I'm on it. I promise to get this big bucket of love into the mirror and skies before long.
am I right? Oh! It seems we are needed.
Chocobo, cute! The hell did you do, Lynn? I I don't know. Just give me a second. Oh! I had the amp furnace circuit in backwards. I am so sorry. I can't believe I'd do something that dumb in the final check. Oh, you're back. I take it you managed to gather the materials? As you can see, the test flight's gonna need to be postponed. Maybe cancelled entirely. Sorry for the bad news after all your hard work. No, wait! I'll handle the repairs and resolve the final issues myself! Commander, please! I need this to work. I need to make it happen. It's the last homework assignment I'll ever have. Please, let me complete it. Hmm. I understand where you're coming from, Lin. But it's not my call. That last slip-up has the Sakuraba guy spooked. The higher-ups aren't gonna be happy unless this thing can be mass-produced. All my work. The apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. Don't worry about it, Vandom. I'll convince my people. I may just be a humble engineer, but I've given my life to Sakuraba. Let an old man cash in some of his favors. Thank you, Isobe. Well, that's one problem down. But this death trap still needs a pilot. After that little display before, I doubt anyone will be nuts enough to volunteer. You'd have to be real crazy. Thank you so, so much. I swear I'll make this thing work. Now that that's settled, when can you have this bucket of bolts fixed? I'll have it ready by tomorrow. All right, you've got till morning. Past that, I'll we'll have to call it off for now. The higher-ups will want to take another long look and decide if this is still where they want to spend their money. Understood. I won't let everyone's hard work go to waste. And I won't let down my brave test pilot either. I swear. should work. Better. What do you say? Ready to put your life in the hands of this thing? That's a spirit. Should be a hell of a view from up there. Assuming you get up there. It'll fly, jeez. Do you trust me on this or not? Oh, come on! You're gonna go on a perfect test flight and show all these naysayers what's up. Alright, let's get this party started. 
flyer to the specified point to start. It's a spot we haven't been able to reach before now. The perfect landing point for our test plan. I thought so. We'll be monitoring your progress from here. Good luck. Oh, and whatever you do, don't damage the scale. I think what you meant to say was come home safe. Welcome back. That was one hell of a maiden flight. She passed the test. We'll get rolling on mass production ASAP. Yes! This makes everything worth it. Sure, I put poor Doug through hell and wound up wasting some rare materials. But I had to do this. I had to make my dream a reality. You know, before they died, my parents began this as an independent research project. But they passed away before they could finish the design. That's how the flight pack got started. A device that can let any scale fly still feels like science fiction. I can't imagine...
imagine what possessed them to even attempt such a thing. But I knew I had to finish what they started. I felt like I'd never be a worthy engineer if I didn't. So, I called it my last homework assignment. Those are some big shoes to fill. You can rest assured that your folks would be proud as hell. You know that, right? You did good, kid. You too. Thanks for all your support. Damn straight! Once we get our people trained up on these, those ganglion are history. All right, enough jibber jab. It's time to get flying. With eyes in the sky, we'll track down that damn life old core in no time. 